hang on for a bit. BC Liberals are gearing up to get their supporters out for the Surrey South by-election. The Liberal star candidate is Eleanor Sturko, well known as a former Surrey RCMP media spokesperson now on leave. This is a big tent party. Former BC Liberal MLA Stephanie Cadieu won the last election for Surrey South with almost 1,200 more votes than the NDP candidate who's running again. Cadieu has resigned to join the federal government as Canada's first chief accessibility officer. But timing is not on the Liberals' side. The September 10th by-election is at the end of the first week of school and on the same day the federal Conservative Party will announce its new leader. So it's almost like the NDP didn't want anyone to notice that this race was happening. Perhaps their voters would come out and Liberal voters wouldn't know. Health care and the future of the Massey Tunnel are top of mind in this riding. The NDP's Pauline Greaves has been pushing for a second hospital near Kwantlen Polytechnic University at a cost of $1.7 billion with 168 beds. Greaves says land previously designated was sold off by a Liberal government. For too long? The people of Surrey and Cloverdale have been waiting for a second hospital. Sturco says the planned hospital should be located near the Langley Surrey SkyTrain connection and offer more. Or, you know, we would like to see a full service hospital. So that means a maternity ward, an ICU, um, more beds than 168. 168 beds, not enough. In a very tight race, other parties could also play a role in deciding the winner. SFU student Simran Sarai is running for the Greens. Harman Bungu, who owns a trucking business, is running for the BC Conservatives and is being endorsed by MLA John Rustad, who was ousted from the BC Liberal Caucus for social media tweets about climate science. Jason Bax is running for the Libertarian Party. If the BC Liberals lose the seat, it could be a sign of trouble for the party's new leader, Kevin Falcon. But a win could help the party build momentum as the province inches closer to a general election in 2024. Mira Baines, CBC News, Vancouver.